It's 3.55 and we going to Taco Bell. Yeah. Are they even open till 3.55? I did something bad. Yeah, she did. She just took some castor oil. <laughs> I don't even think it's gonna work for me, honestly. I mean, like, I don't know, it might work, but I feel like it might not work. I hope it works because honestly, like I just want my daughter here and then I just want to heal so I can just get back and start making money and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm so so about it. Like, I kind of, I, I kind of hope it worked, but then again, you know, I kind of hope it don't. Why? Huh? I kind of hope it worked because you know I'm ready for my daughter. No, yeah. why don't you want it to not work? Well, man, you know, I still got one more week of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean one more week of work? Like it's the last week and then we know for sure like I have this check and then another check. You're gonna have this check this week. I know, but I'm saying like if I work if I work this week, I know for sure I, we got a check and then they give me two weeks, so that's what I'm saying, like So you will rather but wouldn't you rather you have a little bit of overtime on each check versus one check being major and one check being like basic? You know what I'm saying? Because if you, you still get two weeks regardless, but one week will be on one check and one week will be on the other check. And one work of full like labor will be on one check and one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so basically what it is, is like, if she come, if you have, if you got to go to the hospital tonight or tomorrow or mm -hmm. whatever, I already worked a week. So this week will be giving to me. I know that. And then the next one be given to me, but then I have to work another week. So it's like broken up like that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Wouldn't yeah. you rather that? Uh, I mean, either way, you still get the yeah. weeks. It's not like it's it's no difference, honestly. I guess technically it's not you, right? Yeah, I'm probably wondering why we up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Oh, yeah, because we went to the movies. And I hope you guys can see us. We light skin. <laughs> I'm dark skin. We went to the movies and um, me and Dominique got into it because he was being a little B word. And yeah, so we didn't even talk to each other the whole movies. Like we saw two movies and didn't talk to each other through two whole movies. So yeah. That's from 9.30 to 2.30. But the movies were good. We went to the drive-in, which was, like, it's supposed to be really fun, and it was ruined. But it was still, the movies were still good. Um, well, we saw Incredibles 2 and Ocean's 8. And he slept through most of Ocean's 8 and some of Incredibles. I didn't sleep through Incredibles. I saw the whole movie. Oh. Well, he slept through Ocean's 8. Some of it. Most of it. Probably most of it. And, but it was good. I was on my phone a lot. Like, it's easier to be on your phone at the drive-in. Drive so, I was on my phone a lot. But they were both really good movies. But it seemed like every time I opened my eyes on Ocean's 8, it was at, like, seemed like the same stuff was going on. I'm like, what the heck? Like, yeah. every time I'm out, it was, it was something to do with whatever it is. Uh, was honestly, I don't tell the movie, so, but. That movie is hard to like, you know, it's be some movies where if you miss something, you can't catch on. But that movie, if you miss something, it's easy to know what's going on. Right. Because on it, like, if you ever seen any of the oceans, like Ocean Eleven or Ocean whatever, Ocean Ten, like, you would know what it's about anyway. They just thieves, so. Ocean's 11. I think it's a lotion's 11. That's what I'm gonna get. 12, how you, 13. How you make, so they going backwards? Uh, ooh, that could be a possibility. I don't know. Because I don't know if it's a 9 or a 10. But I know, I think, I don't know if they, I don't know the order. But it could be the amount of people that's involved. 
But I know Oceans is the they last name of the people who like the head person yeah. in charge. Like it's the she said they said something about the daddy and her brother. I want to go watch o the rest of the Oceans now. I think I don't need to watch them to understand it more. I guess. Yeah. Like I understood it, but to understand to understand the whole yeah. like concept, it's like seeing one. Um, rush hour or something like you get it but you don't know right. the whole connection and stuff you guys i know okay so it's it's about four o'clock i took the castor oil um like no i was really uh, like 320, 320. Yeah. so i don't know i don't know because i'm not really feeling anything like i mean i feel my like my stomach but it's nothing like that's something like I feel her head moving down but I just still don't know and I don't feel any like I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know okay I don't know but I know some people I like read a whole bunch of reviews on it on taking it and I know some people they don't have nothing some people they just boo boo so at least I'm just waiting till I have the boo boo, and then like after that, that's when I'll really know. But I know some people they don't even boo boo, and then some people they like, yeah, bro. I think this is. You think it's open? Uh, I think they closed. Yeah, I think they closed because it's no cars. It's no cars, like worker cars. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about McDonald's. Made it clear that you were unhappy. Shout out to Queen. I mean, it's nothing on Pen and Pike that's open. Like, I'm pissed. What else is. Oh, White Castle. That's right here. Yeah, it's one right there. I don't know this one was. I'm about to say, it's nothing. Like, we literally don't have nothing. But at least we got that. It's like a lot of food places, but at 4 o'clock in the morning, the best bet you're going to do is go to IHOP or something. IHOP. It's IHOP. They they just made that stupid-ass commercial. They do sell burgers, but they didn't change their name. And anyways, I don't really like breakfast food like that. I mean, I do, but it got to be real good. She a babe, can you get up and cook me breakfast type of girl? No, I'm not, because you, we, doing the last time you She don't ask for it no more. I think that's the baby fault. Uh, yeah. Shout out to you. What is he talking about? Every, can you cook us breakfast? I'm about to do my, I'm about to do my makeup before I, if I start getting contractions, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm about to do my makeup. Before I go to the hospital. Because it's going to be the morning. So that means it's gonna be the day, and then like, if we have her, then people is gonna um, come. Not really, cause I was thinking about not telling nobody until like, until like, if we have her tomorrow, not telling nobody till Monday. But honestly, what if you wanted to go to work? You could do that for the whole week, bruh. Why would you go in this lane? Why wouldn't you turn in down there? I didn't even see that entrance down there. It's dark. Mm. I'm blind. But yeah. Um, well, see, you let them cut us. Oh, I'm like, why is there so many people here? It's the only thing But open. I guess, yeah, it's the only <laughs> thing open and people's just leaving the clubs and stuff. Oh, it is Saturday. Well, yeah, Saturday night, Sunday morning. I'm like, why is there so many people? That's crazy. But yeah, what was I saying? I, I was could saying, go to work. Oh yeah, yeah, you could go to work this week, really. Because if I have her tomorrow, you'll be there for when I have her. And then you could just go to work on Monday and come back at... But I would want you to get off at 3. I'm not playing that 5 stuff. Like, that's not, it. What is my daughter here? I'm not going to work. <laughs> It's time to go to work. 
gonna I'm not gonna be at the hospital and leave, go to work and then come back. No. I'm saying you could do that yeah. if you wanted the full two weeks to be well, it would only be like two days in the hospital, but if you wanted the full two weeks to be at home or whatever. Like you could go to work for this week and I would be fine. Nah, but it's the first week. My mom, Tracy them, people would be visiting. I can make people visit during the day so that I'm not alone while you're at work. I I really don't know if I want people people there when I have her. I mean, not when I have her. Um, after I have her, tell people right away or what. And I'm definitely not going to um, post her on Instagram or any social media right away. So Not until she get her pictures taken. Well, no, not until I edit my video. I want to do like, I want to do like a Kylie Jenner type video. That was so cute when she did uh, see that. You know, I ain't got no friends. Fuck friends. I can do it just me. <laughs> she had her friends say all oh, little cute things about her. I was gonna have his D nasty. But actually I have footage of me telling Darian but I don't know where where it is. I'm gonna have to find it. I think it's on a big computer, so it's going to be hard to, like, edit that in the hospital. Or y'all just might have to wait to see my daughter. And it's not because she's ugly. It's because I'm just extra. It's not that I was hiding you from the world. I was hiding the world from you. Oh, cool. Drake gave us that vibe. <laughs> like, I see, like, when I was reading through the castor oil stuff, I see why people was like, um, they would take some and then they'll wait uh, like a couple hours and they would take some more. I'm like, why do they keep taking some more? But I get it. It's like liquor. You know, when you drink, you want to feel it. And if you don't feel it right away, then you're going to drink some more, even though like, hey, you should have waited because then it's going to smack your ass. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. Like, I want to take some more because I just want to feel it. Like, I just want to know that I took I feel like instead of mixing it with orange juice I should have just took the shots like yeah I should have did that Ew. it takes like one more screw drop thing when I get home moving though she up she up she up the dog was up everybody just up I mean, if it was up to me, we would be night owls if we didn't have to work and stuff. This would be a regular time to go to bed. For, it's just something about being up at night and being out that I like. I like driving at night. I like driving around. If my bike was fixed, I, I used to like night rides. I ain't like riding during the day. I like night rides. Nah. Ain't more relaxing. Ain't no car. Riding in the car. Not on no damn motorcycle. Yes. No, that's dangerous. Not at night. This is like smooth little ride. I don't worry about nothing. Just hit the highway and go around it. Just just do the whole 465. Then dudes be trying to drive off fast and stuff. Not when you got somebody with you. When you just cruising. No, you was driving fast with me. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I literally that's that should be a story time. If y'all want to know about this, the time Dominique took me on a motorcycle ride, comment below because that's that's a story time. It's definitely a good story. Too. A little hint for y'all: I cried. Definitely tears. <laughs> but that's all y'all gonna get. You still haven't bought me no earrings. Let me get my fucking. I always get the same thing. Number, number six. six. Let me get yeah. my fucking. Uh, <laughs> What's wrong with him? Let me get a. Let me get two number sixes. He's so. What you want to drink? A sprite, cause I don't know. My stomach don't start hurting, so. 
with a Sprite. Why is he talking like this? And a root beer. He kills me. Go ahead with your order. <laughs> That's what you get for talking like that. <laughs> now talk regular. Um, can I have two number sixes? I hate him. One with a Sprite and the other with a root beer? Um, and can one of those be onion chips in seasoned salt fries? I forgot they do have that seasoned salt. Yeah, for onion chips. Oh, yeah, I've been talking to them for 17 minutes. It's okay. This, it's okay because this is supposed to be the big day. I want to feel contractions. I'm so like contract. <laughs> guys, if this stuff dang near, I dang near. I'm no, nah, that's just her moving. You see, oh, I mean, shoot. <laughs> I feel like she getting into position though. I don't want to lay down because I feel like if I lay down, that'll knock her out position. <laughs> When you get birth, you laying down. I mean, cause you in labor and they already in position. They already coming out. But really, you supposed to give birth on your hands and knees. Like a dog? Yeah. Look how they baby out here. Castor oil probably about. I mean, I didn't finish it until probably about forty minutes ago. So that's real short. I be seeing people, though, they be literally at the hospital in labor like three hours later. Or like, at least they be on the toilet three hours later. Uh. And then they go into labor right after that. Don't wake me up in the middle of the morning tell me, hey, Jimmy, I got a baby. Bro, you already know what you signed up for. So don't don't do me. I just need to bring my little stool in there, get my feet up, get some cold water and a cold towel. Cause I be hot like I don't know. Somebody really got their baby out here at four o'clock in the morning. Baby was at the club too. <laughs> Usually I be sleep right now. But Hopefully I don't day. throw up. I just had a little acid reflux. Oh, I'm supposed to be drinking this tea. It's that raspberry leaf tea. They say it helps you with labor. That's where I got my first tattoo. I was 16. How old were you? That's where I got my first tattoo? Mm -hmm. 18. See, I was young and I was out here thugging. You feel me? I raised myself. No, I'm just kidding. I always say that. I mean, it's part true to me. For the conversation. With me and my mom? Yeah. Yeah, because my mom don't think I did stuff. Like, she's like, it's impossible. Like, she was being technical. I'm being like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was being technical. Like, nobody can teach themselves everything. Because I'm like, I taught myself everything I know. But, like, in all honesty... I'm just, it's not even, it's not even nobody's fault. I'm just an independent person. I've been independent since I was a baby. All the stories I hear, I'm like, I've been independent. Like, I never wanted nobody to pick me up. I slept alone. Like, I mean, I didn't sleep alone when I was a little bit older. But I just wanted to do everything on my own. When I was in elementary school, I was the bad one. I ran things. Not that that's good or nothing. Because I turned a new leaf when I was like in fifth grade. <laughs> that sounds so young. But I really did. But I just always been independent. So it's not nobody's fault that I just do what I want to do. Like, I just do. That's just how I am. And I don't like nobody. I don't... Not that I don't need nobody around me. But like, me and people... I love people, but I just, I just rather be by myself, honestly, a lot. 
Like if I'm going, I don't know. I can. I'm trying to think of something. Like okay, you know how you like shopping with friends? I don't. I'd rather go by myself and go shopping. Unless it's like a boyfriend. I be attached to boyfriends for some reason. That's annoying. But just friends and stuff. It's rare that I would rather be shopping with. If I would rather be with you than be alone, then I really fuck with you. And it's only like three people I'd rather be with than be alone. Yeah, like you, uh -huh. Darian. And yeah. But my my cousins too. Like I can be around my cousins. I'd rather be with them. But they live in Florida, so I don't ever be be with them. And my daughter now. <laughs> free food no i'm just kidding we came here one night one drunk night i don't even remember what yeah. we did uh-huh not us uh -huh. last summer last summer was lit i was lit it was last summer it was like me darian keenan uh wells uh jaylen was Grant with us? I don't know. But we just used to have some fried, memorable nights. That's when I had friends. They weren't friends. I just knew how to pretend. That way. You don't got no friends. I sure don't. Your friends don't check up on you. They don't call you. They just fell off. Wait, whatever happened to your group message? You gotta adapt. You know what I'm at. I put the six on the map. She wanted a fan. I promise to battle my life. Okay, you guys. It's about 9.54. And I'm kind of sad because... Okay, so you guys know that I had took the castor oil last night. Probably about 3 in the morning. And like some people say it take like 24 hours to kick in, but I'm gonna tell you guys about my day. So, um, I don't really know when's the last time I talked to you, but basically I was having contractions um, pretty much all day until like eight-ish. And then they just stopped probably to about seven ish and then they just stopped and now i've been having nothing so we're walking to try and see like if we can make my water break or the contractions start back up or anything because we want her out i just want to meet her or at least be able to go to the hospital. But I don't want them to turn me away. Oof. Right now, she just kicking. When I walk, she be on my bladder. Hello. It be. Breaking news, four years, 153 million. Oof, she's heavy. LA? He signed to LA. Four years, 153 million. They talking about LeBron. That's I don't really care about that stuff. That was a max contract too. I just want my baby to come out. I mean, they about to get, they, they, I just seen that they said they pushing. Okay, you guys, it's Monday, July 2nd. And we just leaving the appointment. Her checking my cervix hurt a little bit less this time. I'm still one centimeter. Well, I'm one centimeter. I'm not one tight centimeter anymore. And I'm 50% effaced. So, I don't know what that means or like how close whatever it is, but 50%. That means she could come never. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys updated. Um, babes, like, take some more castor oil. Like, no, I'm not trying to have a shit show. But I'm thinking about it. 
Okay, I'm at, back at home. I just wanted to tell you guys, like, some of the things I've been doing besides um, the fact that I took castor oil that might also contribute to um, me being 50% effaced now. I wish I knew, like, how much longer, like, how long does it take? Because I know people be one centimeter or two centimeters for weeks, so... I really want to know, like, how long does it take? And, like, how long are you, like, 90% effaced or whatever? Like, how long does that last? But, anyways, I will figure that out before I post this video, honestly. But, so you guys can't help me. But, okay. So, besides the fact that I took the castor oil Saturday night... Um, cause before I was one tight centimeter and now I'm one centimeter and also 50% effaced. So before I took the castor oil, I would say I, um, or not before, but like after I ordered a bunch of raspberry leaf tea off of Amazon and I've been drinking like, well, it's only been one day. I think I probably had a few cups Saturday. I don't really remember though. But I know yesterday I had at least three cups. Today I had one so far. I'm about to make myself another one and I'll have like three or four of those today. So that could possibly help. But they also say that strengthens your cervix muscles um, and helps you with labor been doing like kegels or whatever so when i was like checked today it hurt way 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 less for me to be checked than before and i honestly think it's either the raspberry tea that helped out with that um it's either the fact that i am a somewhat effaced or either that i've been doing kegels that like just strengthens that um muscle so like it doesn't hurt as much when she's like trying to go in there so those things all could have helped also yesterday i walked like two miles around my neighborhood um and i bounced on the ball the ball a little bit i think the ball mostly helps with um like just dropping the baby into place because <laughs> excuse me her head is getting like lower and lower and lower so those are all the things oh and sex that they say that works they say not only like sex with a partner but just like orgasms or they say that semen also helps soften the cervix so that could be another thing um because we yeah anyways tmi <laughs> i don't know who watches these videos so i'm sorry I'm sorry if that's too much information. They say that that softens the cervix also. So that is what I think brought me to 50 centimeters. Honestly, I've been watching like a lot of castor oil stories and some of them are horror stories. I come to the conclusion that if I'm going to try to induce my labor with castor oil again, um, or if you are period, I, I come to the conclusion that getting an epidural or just planning to get one like you don't have to get one like right away or at four centimeters but um some type of pain medication you should definitely get just because the castor oil makes your contractions very strong so i come to that conclusion and i also come to the conclusion that you should definitely get an epidural if you if you're going to induce your labor in any type of way just because you're doing something that's not natural for your body, so you're putting your body under more stress. Um, and if, you, if you're if you having the stress of pain as well, I feel like that could, it throws your body off. Just like I seen some girl like have to get emergency C-section. I don't think it was because of the castor oil directly, but that made her contractions more sh like way stronger and she was trying not to get an epidural and like um i see a lot of people who like try to get the epidural way later and, and their body like goes into shock because it's so much pain like sometimes you can um have your baby natural a lot of women do it 
but you just have to go full blown natural. You can't like try to induce your labor with castor oil and then try to go natural. Like I just feel like your body, you're already that's like taking Pitocin and not having any pain meds. Like you're speeding up your contractions and like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just talking. This could possibly make no sense to anybody. But it just makes sense to me of why I personally, if I try castor oil again, which I would after the 4th of July, because I do not want to have a 4th of July baby, just because I want my daughter to have her own birthday. Like, I don't want every time it's her birthday, it's to be 4th of July, because I wouldn't want my birthday on any holiday, like, personally, if my birthday was like, say my birthday was on, I don't know, just say my birthday was on 4th of July, I wouldn't like it, because, you know, it's, it's a holiday for everybody, you know, everybody's gonna be having their own 4th of July stuff, like, yeah, she'll be born around 4th of July, so it's gonna always be around that time, but it's not on 4th of July, like, her birthday won't be on 4th of July, so it won't be like, well, hopefully, (laughs) so it won't be like, I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I just can't put it together. You don't want to have to have a family gathering and, oh, it's always your birthday. Like, but the day really shouldn't be about you. And it's also like could be a lot of not animosity from other people, but like people don't want to celebrate you every day on this year when it's a holiday and it should be about everybody. Um, because I wouldn't want people to feel obligated to to celebrate my birthday on Thanksgiving when Thanksgiving should be for everybody, you know? I don't I don't think I want I wouldn't want everybody to feel obligated like oh we have to have a cake at Thanksgiving for Cashley cuz it's her birthday like you know like I don't know. And then and then a part of it is like you would have that feeling but you also have the feeling like it's my birthday. I should be able to it's my day, you know, cuz my birthday is my day all day like no matter what. So if my birthday was on a holiday, I would feel kind of selfish for being like, "Hey, it's my day though." Like <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that was uh that was so drawn out for no reason. But yeah, I'm pretty bored right now. So that's why I'm talking to you guys. But I just figured I would tell you guys like a little more information on what I've been doing. And then tonight when it gets dark out, because it's so hot out, uh, I'll probably go walking again. I um, always keep track now every day of like how many calories I burn. And like I always try to meet my goal because it's not a lot, trust me. But I always try to meet the goal just because to know that I'm actually moving and stuff. That's pretty much it. The good thing about um, the fact that I took castor oil the other day is it finally made Dominique get his bags together. So he has his hospital bag ready now. And I honestly think that, like, I mean, everybody else might not, but I think that I will have the baby this week. I mean, it just depends, like... I'm not scared to take the castor oil again, but I know it does also make the baby poop. And I don't want her to poop inside of me, but, like, if that happens, then, oh, well. But I'm definitely going to try to do other stuff to, like, make her come and, like, make me start having contractions again. So if I do start having, like, contractions without taking it I definitely won't take it at all but if I don't then I'm gonna I'll probably take just two tablespoons I wanted to take less but honestly some get stuck in the cup and you don't even get all of it because it's like such a thick oil so I'll probably just take two tablespoons of it again and um that would be probably probably Friday I'll probably do it early Friday so that um like by the time it's nighttime like I won't have to go to the hospital like in the middle of the night if I need to go to the hospital like I'll be going so I don't know but I'll keep you guys updated it's only Monday so actually I might I might do it Thursday I don't know it just depends about Dominique and his work schedule too because like I don't really want to interrupt that for him and then I don't want him like he gets two weeks off so I don't want him to have to go to work on like back to work on like a friday like that would be like what (laughs) so 
we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. I'll see what he says. Um, I'll see when he says I should take it. Honestly, I would take it 4th of July night. <laughs> so I wouldn't mind her being born on the 5th. The 6th would probably be better. It gives her two days away from the 4th, but... I don't know. I'm going to look up some celebrity birthdays. I'm like such a, um, what's it called? I'm just into like astrology. Is it astrology? Not, not really astrology. That's with stars and stuff. But like all the signs and stuff. So I really think days can make you who you are. Like the day that you're born can make you who you are. And so I'll go and look and see whose birthday is on my birthday or like on her birthday that could be her birthday and I'm like I don't want her to be on board on that birthday because I don't want her to be like this person and like I really didn't want her to be a cancer I wanted her to be a Leo or no not a Leo what am I talking about I wanted her to be a Gemini because I'm a Gemini and I get Gemini's and like not everybody gets them not everybody understands them but I do so it's like I wanted her to be a Gemini because cancers are just so freaking emotional they always think like they always blame everybody else for their problems. Like this is <laughs> no offense if you're a cancer. I have some cancer friends, but it's just like they're emotional. They always think everybody else's problems are their problem, not their problems, but like they blame their problems on everybody else when they put their self in the situations. They what else can I say about cancers that I don't like? They're just babies. I feel like she's going to... I wouldn't mind giving my daughter a lot of affection. I'm going to give her a lot of affection regardless. But they do need a lot of affection. And I don't want her to be, like, looking for affection in the wrong places type stuff. So, But I would definitely rather have a cancer girl than a cancer boy. Because cancer boys, they're just too, too much. Like, cancer girls, like, I kind of get them too. Because they're, like, kind of weird as well. Like... Not weird, weird, but just different. And I am too, so I get, like, I can understand that part. But I don't know. Cancers be cool, but I ain't want my baby to be that. And I ain't want her to be a Leo because I don't know much about Leos. People don't really talk about Leos. Like, they're not one of the signs that people be like, I don't know. So I don't know much about Leos. I don't really have no Leo friends. So... I don't really know if I want my baby to be that, and I don't even know any Leos. My induction date is on July 22nd, so if I make it that far, which I doubt I will, especially if I take castor oil. Um, but my induction date is July 22nd, and July 23rd will make her a Leo. So, I don't know. I could wait that long, but it's just like, I, have, I also have family that's up here from Florida, and they they leave on the 13th, so I kind of want to have her before then so they could come visit and see her, and she'll be here. But And also, I just want to be healed. Like, I literally been pregnant for almost a year, it feels like, and I just want to be healed. Like, I just want to get back to being able to run, being able to drink. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Kind of. And I just, I just want to be able to do stuff that I could do before. And hopefully I don't get pregnant again right away. I do want to get pregnant in like a year though, because I want my kids to be close. Like I want, and if I have two girls, I wouldn't be mad at all. Like I want my daughter to have like a best friend relationship because with her sister, because I never had that. Like, me and my sister are, like, seven years apart. And I always feel like I should be in charge of her. And she felt like she was just talking back and stuff. As I would have probably did if I was a younger sister, too. But we just had, didn't have a close relationship, you know. Now that she's getting older, it's getting, like, you know, we talk about more. We can relate on more and, like... I can give her advice on more and stuff like that. But I just want my kids to, like, grow up together and have a best friend. Because me, it made me really antisocial that I didn't have any siblings around my age. Like, I had cousins. And when I was around them, like, yeah, I was, I had a lot of friends. But when I moved back to Indiana, I was in ninth grade. 
where is this story going okay i'm about to quit <laughs> okay but look i had moved back and i was just um i was just antisocial. like i didn't really and now i'm really antisocial. like i don't have to be around like last summer i had you know i was always around people but that's because i didn't date nobody but now that i'm dating somebody like he's the only friend that i feel like i need which is not good because if something happens like you should always have friends to like be able to call on and lean on and stuff so always keep friendships but yes i have not been hanging out with friends which is common through pregnancy anyways but i just feel like if i had like a best friend um, as a sister growing up it would have made me more social and maybe not even social with other people but at least with my sister like you know that's somebody that you can always depend on um hopefully you know you know there's variances with every relationship but yeah but it's cool anyways regardless because my daughter's always gonna have me and I'm always gonna make that known to her I don't ever want her to feel like she's alone in life. But, yeah, um, this is getting off on a tangent in a story. <laughs> I don't even know. But that's all, folks. See you later. Thanksgiving, goddammit. Oh, you don't? Oh, I bet. I ain't taking no casserole then. We just going to wait to the induction. You're funny. Don't drink it. You just said don't do it. So which one is it? Look, y'all, my feet swollen. That sounds really weird, but if you are a mom and it's been through labor, you know exactly. And you've been through natural labor, you know exactly what I mean when I say that. You almost bring back the pain. Hey guys, so Dominique wants me to take castor oil again. So I'm going to. It is 8:51. What's today's date, babe? one teaspoon so i have to take six, six teaspoons i seen this girl chug like four ounces of castor oil and she didn't go into labor and i'm just thinking to myself like why would you chug four ounces of castor oil like that's just not smart at all but and honestly last time it didn't make me have diarrhea like it'd be making people have diarrhea and I think that's because, like, I be having diarrhea that's bad. And so that was, like, nothing compared to what I already been having. Actually, I'm going to pour some of this in here first because, well, I'm going to pour this one. But I'm going to pour some. I'm going to do it because I've seen a girl do it with, um, like, something a thicker consistency and it mixes better when it's a thicker consistency but i'm only gonna pour a little bit in there because it sucks when you have to chug like a whole cup full of stuff versus just that so i already did one and a big six I can't believe I'm doing this again. Okay, now I gotta mix it up. Babe, you're not even gonna watch me. You want me to do this and you're not watching? Can you? Where do you know where my water is? This smoothie s smells good though. I used to drink these at home. I don't buy expensive stuff. How much uh, was it? This, that one? Five dollars. Oh, that's not bad, really. Yes, it is. Wonder why? Because they had a sale that I didn't even know about. <gasps> the little ones were buy one get one free. How much are the little ones I, though? They were like a dollar. No. -uh. Lady told me today. She was like, I went on Friday, went to Kroger's Friday, and they were buy one get one free, and one of them was like a dollar, so she bought six of them. For three dollars, and you got wow. But honestly, it's probably equivalent. I thought the small ones be like two dollars, two fifty nine. I don't know, man. I don't be trusting what people say. Napkins are for rich people. If you have napkins in your house, <laughs> you rich. Okay, y'all ready? I forgot I was doing. 
It's cute, ain't it? I did it. <laughs> that's gonna be your signature look. Nah. Yes, that's cute, babe. Okay. Here we go again. Take two. Action. I hope I don't have her on the 4th of July. I'm gonna cry. You know what's the worst thing about that? Is the castor oil is thick and the smoothie is already thick. Taste. It don't taste that bad, but it smells bad. So when you're thinking you like drinking this smelly ass drink. Hey, when you um, edit this video, you gotta edit this out. Why? This is copyrighted. It's an LLC. You gotta edit this out. You can wear a shirt. No, I'm just edit it out. They don't get no. They don't get no recognition from me. <laughs> exactly. That's why. Not because it's copyrighted. I can wear a champion shirt. It's copyrighted. That don't no, fucking edit matter. This, out, this ain't TV, nigga. Bro, edit it out, like I said. <laughs> you don't fuck with them no more or something. I don't fuck with you. Okay, so why do you not want the? Just talking. See, you just be niggas. Just be talking. You sure did help yourself to a glass of my smoothie, I see. Our smoothie. Mm -mm. You didn't even know it was in a cart. I really didn't. We literally went in the line when I'm, when we helping to put the groceries on the little conveyor belt. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> like, when did this get in the cart? It was the very first thing in the cart. I'm just like... Nigga, you snuck this in here. Like, look, anything. every time I put something in the cart, I can sell I, I... What is it called? Not consolidate. I don't know. I just tell him like, "Hey, look, we need we need cereal. All right, let's get this one. All right, put it in a cart." Consult with me. Yeah, that's what the word was. Consult. This nigga just be throwing random stuff in there. I see. So this is what happened. As soon as we walk in the Kroger, it's the fruit section right there. She immediately went to the cherries. So I went, got me a smoothie. While I was getting cherries, so sneaky. That's not sneaky. You, you can't even out. get cherries around dudes. They you, will sneak off. You went and got cherries, so I went and got something I like. I like that, so I got it. It's like, I don't never get anything that I like when we go. I just get stuff that we I be like. asking you, though. I get stuff that we like, so. I get stuff we like. We don't eat cherries. How come we don't? Because you do. Why don't you? I don't eat cherries. That's not my fault. Like, cherries are good. We should eat them. You would have known I don't eat cherries if you'd have asked. You never asked me. I mean, I knew you didn't eat cherries because every time I get them, you don't be eating them. But I didn't know but that's... But you still get them, like... Because I like them. Why right. wouldn't I get them? Right, because you like them. So I wouldn't like got something to like. But, and they're healthy. That's healthy. What's healthy? That's smoothie. Okay, I'm having contractions. Let's show them my belly. Oh, it's so it ugly, y'all. My my boobs are so fucking, I mean, freaking. I'm trying not to curse. Are so huge, like. Put this on. Cause I'm, cause you're fat, guys. I'm like way smaller than him, obviously. Yeah. But. This is my, my, I mean, my boobs are like, and I didn't have on no bra or nothing, so they was just there, you feel me? Stop or you break it. Break. Put it, put it under your shirt. It's huge. I want to paint it, guys. And he kept saying it looks like Homer Simpson, so I think I'm going to paint it like Homer Simpson. <laughs> Already. Boy, you're saggy. <laughs> Turn sideways. Oh, chat. Like you can't even like. You gotta walk different. Are we twins? Ooh. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie. Let's see, we gotta walk with our back like that. Ooh, girl. He says all pregnant girls walk alike, which they do. 
He is funny. <laughs> okay, but um, this video already long as hell. I'm, I always make these videos super long. I don't know whenever I'm going to put some of these videos out because I just be recording for days and then I don't re I don't ed ever, ugh, ever edit nothing. I vow to edit tomorrow, though. No, I got to do my sister's hair. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. But I'll get this video out. Before the end of the month, before the end of July, I'll get this video out. Are you pregnant? You ugly. <laughs> but okay, guys, I'll keep you guys updated on this castor oil. What did I say? It was 950. I mean, 851. It's 9 o'clock now. So hopefully something happens before bedtime. These clouds just look so nice. I just had to show you guys because... They're beautiful. They're really beautiful. We're on another walk, really walking him, but walking me too. Well, walking her out. Y'all, I had to pee and my stomach started to cramp because it'd be cramping when I walk too much. So we had to come back in the house and we did about a mile and a half. So, ooh, cramping. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I push myself or either if this is a contraction. I don't know. Nah, I think it's just a cramp. I don't know, but it hurt. So. He just rude. Okay guys, so it's about 9.40 in the morning. It's about almost 13 hours after I took the castor oil. And nothing, I mean, I woke up at three to use the bathroom. Obviously that was very painful. It was more painful than the first time. And I was having stomach discomfort throughout the night. Um, I woke up, I just used the bathroom again. This one, it wasn't painful, but it was diarrhea. Like, it was runny and stuff, but that was expected. So, I don't really know if it did anything. I did have some, like, contractions and stuff. So, I'm sure, like, because before, before I took it the first time, I was one, I was a tight one centimeter, and I was, um... I wasn't effaced at all. Then yesterday I was one centimeter still and I was 50% effaced. So I'm pretty sure like between that, between the castor oil, between walking and between me about to um, drink even more of this tea, the raspberry leaf tea, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'm more um, effaced now. Um, so I will let you guys know because people say between 5 and 24 hours is when it like um, makes you go into labor or delivery or whatever. So I'll see. I'll see if it does anything. Um, if I feel anything. But as of now, I'm just tired <laughs> and my back hurt. <laughs> That's about it. But all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs>